is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 4. Coverage you can count on. Whether it's on TV or online, coronavirus is all anyone is talking about. And since the symptoms are similar to the flu, we had a physician break down the differences. Plus, we ask school leaders across Central Florida what preparations they're making now for the illness. And those school leaders across Central Florida told us they are keeping a close eye on the latest developments. Several districts ramping up cleaning efforts just as a precaution. That's one of the elements that we were following today. Channel Line's Michael Laparty live in Kissimmee. And Michael, you asked the superintendent what would happen if the virus appeared in her schools. And Greg, for uh, starters, I want to show you there is some cleaning equipment behind me, but also back here you can see these are all the different buildings that the district is responsible for cleaning. And this is just the administrative campus, so there are also obviously plenty of schools out there as well. And today she shared her plans to deep clean those facilities should that virus spread. For the most part, it's business as usual at Osceola County Schools. But with growing concerns about the new coronavirus, the superintendent says custodians were instructed to wipe down hard surfaces every day. It's like every other kind of potential emergency or, or situation. We want to always be prepared. Dr. Deborah Pay says the district has a plan to handle a pandemic. We asked what that plan includes if the virus shows up in one of her schools. Our custodial team um, comes in from the district office to support local school-based custodial groups to bring in the heavier equipment the harsher chemicals to make sure that the students are, are going to be kept safe. Of course, administrators are hoping that we don't reach that point, and Brevard Public Schools are taking the opportunity to remind students about simple things they can do to protect themselves. We're following guidance from the Centers for Disease Control that uh, pretty much call for educating our students and staff about proper hygiene, hand washing, sneeze in your elbow. Lake County Schools told us they're making sure soap dispensers are stocked and surfaces get wiped down. All efforts to help prevent people from getting sick. And Orange County Schools told me that they're also monitoring the situation and they have protocols in place to deal with this. Here in Osceola, the superintendent said that there were no student groups that were planning any sort of travel outside of the country in the next few months. Obviously, spring break is coming up, so they'll be keeping an eye on that, especially as families plan their trips. Reporting live in Kissimmee, Michael Oparty, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Governor Ron DeSantis says more than 240 people in Florida are actively being watched tonight for the coronavirus because the symptoms between the coronavirus and the flu may be confusing. We want to help to clear things up. Channel 9's Sarah Beth Ackerman spoke with a board certified physician to break down the difference and found out when is the right time to call your doctor. People are struggling with how do I tell the difference? That's because the symptoms for the flu and the coronavirus are so similar. Dr. Candace Jones has been seeing patients come through with cold symptoms and flu like symptoms, but now she's fielding questions about the coronavirus. I'm going, is this just a common cold? Is this the flu? And then some people are asking, is this coronavirus? Here's the breakdown of the flu runny nose, cough, congestion, high, higher fever. Those symptoms usually come on suddenly. And then also the classic body aches. I feel yucky and the person is down for the count. Up next, the coronavirus. The telltale signs also are more respiratory in nature. Cough, runny nose, and then you get into difficulty breathing. And I would say that would be the biggest difference. We asked Dr. Jones when is the right time to get tested? What do you need to notice in order to pick up the phone and call your doctor? The individuals who are really sick from this in the hospital and even have died have seemed to have uh, comorbid conditions, other health conditions that can be worsened with the virus. If you were to check the boxes, here's what Dr. Jones says to look out for. If you're older, if you have pre-existing conditions, if you recently traveled to one of these infected areas, and if you feel like you're showing signs of respiratory issues coupled with the common flu symptoms, it's best to take it more seriously. But remember this. Most people do okay with this. About 80% of cases, people recover and they're doing okay. We never want to see deaths and that is happening, but at a smaller percentage, okay? Reporting in Orange County, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And again, the biggest thing doctors are pushing is if you think you are showing signs of the virus, do not walk into a clinic. Always call first. They are trying to limit the spread, whether it's the flu or coronavirus, of course, all together. Try to help not just yourself, but others. Amazon says that some sellers are price gouging because of the coronavirus. The company said it was forced to pull more than one million products from the site. Some sellers were making false claims about their products, saying that they can prevent or even cure the virus. And items like hand sanitizer, masks and cleaning wipes were selling at times for five times the price. 
Amazon said that third-party sellers must follow its fair pricing policy and no gouging. With the concerns about the coronavirus and other illnesses like the flu, we know you have a lot of questions still about what's making people sick and how to keep yourself and your family safe as well. So tonight, Channel 9 anchor Darlene Jones will host experts from Advent Health on her Facebook Live page and on our page to answer your questions. You can ask questions by joining them on the WFTV Facebook page. It will all start at 7 p.m.